Right, bit of a change now. Uh, still on shooters, but modern one, but one you really ought to check out. I've mentioned it before. Uh, Decimation X3, also Decimation X, but I like Decimation X3 because it's just that little bit more. It's taken me a few minutes to find it amongst my bloody collection. Thanks Microsoft for shifting everything all over the blue place. Yeah, no picture for it or anything. Okay, whatever. Well, we'll start it playing. Honestly, Microsoft, what the hell are you doing? Because, I mean, the dashboard is designed for anything but games now, and now with the next one being online only, it's like, oh, just idiots. But occasionally you get great games like this, which cost an absolute pittance. There's only games, Matthew Doucette, a uh, really fun game. Um, four player, uh, let's go with normal to start with. You think, oh, all right, okay, what's, what's so special about this? Bear with it. Uh, basically, Space Invaders, gone mental. And... A great little game. And of course they speed up as they always do, don't they? There we go. Pile into them more and more and more and try and get more power ups. Oh, I got a shield. I forgot I was on this mode. You get shields. There we go, just keep going. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to talk on this one because I will just be staring at the screen. Look how I fire through my own shields! Oh dear. I need more power-ups. Sneaky. Nice. Occasionally you get... You build up a... Uh... Come on, come on, come on, come on. See the shower thing at the top? As that builds up, it's like a countdown to you getting a shower of weapons like that, which you really blooming need. And also, if you don't fire, they don't fire back to start a level. My weapon seems really, really underpowered for some reason. I could have sworn you got more weapons quicker than this. But uh, it has been quite a while since I last turned the 360 on. Uh, more power-ups. And I can quite safely just sit there and gather those for a minute and then wait until they're in the position I want them to, and then open fire! And I generally play this in challenge mode without the shield, so this is a little odd. This feels different to me now. Oh, damn, another shower while there's bullets around the place. Can I do it? Grab as many as you can. What is a auto fire? Right, well, I've kind of got firing happening already, on my, but there we go. Woo! That was sneaky of them. Each level they get slightly tougher, so they take slightly more shots to kill, so you've got to keep yourself powering up. Is that shield again? Yep, shield. Nice. There's a gap running in here. That is neither Pixel nor Nibbler, that is our guest cat, Honey, who's our daughter's kitty cat. And... Right, sounds like she's been on the nip. Honey! What's the matter? Hey? Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. We like this. And we go... Zoom! a load of them. Cut a swathe through the alien scum like a hot knife through butter. Ah! Nice touch though. As you slide back on you can still pick up weapons that, so you don't necessarily miss them. Come here. 
Let them walk into my wall of lasers. What's the matter, you? Moving on the nip. There we go. And... A wind vulnerability. Nice. Just sit here and let them have it. Like a hot laser knife through alien butter. But you've got to watch out because it runs out before you know it. Whoa. See, they really do start chucking out some bullets now, don't they? And the spark's coming off. Nice effects. It's all very simple, but really nice. Power coming up again. If I can clear this, then hopefully that'll be another one. There we go. So let's go for nice. Oh, invulnerability. Can I grab that? Yes, I can. Come here, you buggers. There. Oh, oh, damn you! Not doing too well here. Level 14 and I've already lost a few lives. Oh, bum, 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 die. Oh, not you. Gotcha. sure what Tony's up to there, but she's running around like crazy. It's been uh, interesting having her uh, meeting our, cat to our cats, because uh, our two are boys, and they're not quite sure what to make of her, and she's not sure what to make of them, other than a lot of hissing. She does seem to enjoy sitting in the, uh, sitting at the window ledge and looking out at the chickens, and they seem to enjoy wandering up to the window and taunting her. Quite sure what, why they're not at dinner. Ooh, come on. Need a bit more to cut through them there. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Whoa! Ah. Sometimes you've really got to sneak through. Ah. Oh. Last go. Oh, nice one. Nice. And oh, we've got another. Oh, gold. Let's see if I can get as many as I can. I think I'm wiping out my shields already, just as well. I've got invulnerability shields, isn't it? So that I'll go over here and get it. Blimey. Ooh, different shields. I've forgotten all of those ones. That one makes me think of the Wayland yutani logo for some strange reason. I know it's just a W, but... How many of these can I get before they bounce back? Ah. Oh. Yeah, so that's the standard mode. And as you can see, I didn't do as well as I normally do, but as bad as I have done either. Let's have another go at challenge with no shields. Oh, my weaponry is puny. How will we ever defeat the alien menace like this? Come on, come on, points. Thank you. There we go. I think P powers up your shots and B gives you an extra Gives you an extra bullet in Johnny Fire, so that was a bit cocky that move. I think this costs something like a whack and great, something like 80 Microsoft points or something like that. In the indie games, really ought to check it out. Especially thing is you can play it four player if you have four friends and four controllers. 
I'll leave you to decide which of those I might have. There's something very addictive about it. It's simple, but you get ludicrously powered up weapons, and uh, it's still a fun challenge, even with stupid, uh, stupidly powered up weapons. Because they, they get stronger each level as it is. And you'd think it might get a bit saney, but... Oh, but the challenge is uh, really quite good. Oh look, I still managed to grab them. Oh, there's still one there, not for long. See, I don't get any shields now. Which I think forces you to concentrate a bit more. But obviously I'm nattering here, so I'm um, not really concentrating too much. Or as much as I should. Oh, damn, I shouldn't have fired. I would have had a clear run for all of those then. But I got those, so that's not so bad. I do like that spark effect that comes on. Ooh, he was weak, or I was stupidly overpowered. Could have been a bit of both. And let's see how many of these I can get before they hit the end. B! And can I get that one? I find sometimes it helps to wipe out the thicker, thicker bunch, and then you hopefully you can get a good run and then you've just got one tall bunch to get through before they bounce back. Or you could just go willy-nilly and fly like crazy like that. Ooh, that was luck more than judgement. I mean, it's just great. It's really simple. Anyone can pick up and play. It's got some great tunes. Well, tune, I suppose. That really gets you into it. The graphics are, you know, kids are going to say, oh, the graphics are rubbish. But they're not. They are really nicely designed. They're really brightly coloured. You know, bright colours. You can see what's going on, even though every, all hell is breaking loose on screen. It's a great fun little game. Not sure what else I can say about it, really. Other than I think I'm only about halfway through my best score here. Ah! Uh, oh, oh, good. I can get some more power-ups. See, some of them are double. They've got two on them. And I think I remember correctly. There are triple ones. Whether there are quadruple ones, I don't know. I don't think I've ever got past something like level 30 or 40, something like that. Three there, wasn't it? That'll help. Point's not so important now, but we really better keep this off power there. There we go. And can we get him? Come on, die. There we go. Not sure what that noise was then. Oh, find the gap, find the gap. Ah, oh, wow. See, it, it, it can be pixel perfect in this game as well. Oh dear, I'm in trouble now. Oh. That was quite lucky, actually. Don't fire, don't fire, don't fire. Have a quick sk Oh, there's... I'm going to go for this side. A little more doubles there for me to pick up. Oh, look at that firepower now. I've got them quaking in their tentacles. Or whatever they've got. Pseudopods. Oh, dear. Whew. 
Nice. Oh, didn't see that one until I hit it. Just at that last fraction of a second as I slammed into it, I went, oops. <laughs> make you want to breathe in this game and go <gasps> find a gap <sighs> ah see they can't dodge through my bullets as well as I can dodge through theirs so that was a bit close then as well Oh dear. Oh, I'm on level 30. A quick glance up to the top left reveals to me, though I'm really not looking at them. I shouldn't be distracting myself by doing that. And... See, so there are some games I can play. Oh, he says, facing a wall of bullets. <laughs> It's inevitable conclusion. Ta-da. You've really got to scan for the gaps to see where you can nick through. And they're not always there, to be fair. Let's start from this side. A bit of a change. Come on. I mean, look at that. That's just a, a rain of death there, isn't it? Oh, bum. Whoa! tougher and I haven't got so many power-ups now. Or I have, but I need more in order to deal with them. To cut through them quicker before they're able to twat me. Oh, bugger. Ooh. You really do feel a massive sense of relief when you slip through one of those gaps like that. <laughs> Level 35. Oh well. I think that's about average for me. Okay, it was 8th for me. I've done level 45 before. But, uh, yeah, Decimation X3. Jason Doucette and... Isn't it Matthew Doucette? Uh, oh, there we go. Matthew, Jason and Matthew Doucette. Uh, hello, guys. If you're watching this, thank you for this great little game. It's really good fun. And I hope lots more people buy it. Uh, yeah, Decimation X. A game that... Well, I'm saying I, I, I'm not too bad at. I'd probably find out now that level 45 is um, toddler level or something like that. But uh, regardless, I like it. It's fun. You should try it too. If you have a 360, um, get it, because it's one of the few good reasons to have a 360. Um, yeah, not really much more to say. Decimation X3, go buy it. It's fun. Thanks for watching.